John Mike brought it to me. Um, he had been talking to uh, Artsmon about putting a show in there, and uh, the concept was his. Yeah, it's just like every other concept it's just there and just happens we decided to call on the people who we had been working with the most locally and then just kind of took the direction of well who are we doing this for we're doing it for working local artists actual um, people who are, have decided to take on the terrifying task of let, letting art be their job <laughs> so we're like you know that's who we're doing this for that's who we would like to zero in on and give some attention to and um, thought that the most, um, the easiest way to do that would to have it be almost like a sampler platter of the most hardworking, uh, talented, reliable, responsible, <laughs> professional artists in town. And there's a lot of good artists but not a lot of them work and that, that's that's the idea of Tiny Hand. These, these, these are artists that are working now. I mean, at hand, it's you know, it's in progress, and present, to be happening right now, and that's 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 essentially where the idea came from. I wanted it to specifically be what you do, right? Because this what you get one piece. Mm -hmm. It's not like you bring here's the theme, do three different pieces on that theme, or like it could be one to three, whatever you have time for, uh, whatever you already have, things like that. It was everyone make a brand new piece of artwork for this show. All of them are going to be this dimension, this exact right. dimension. So every piece is 30 by 40, so it's fairly large scale. Yeah, everybody's basically equally represented. Yeah, and I really didn't mind what, what kind of medium it was, because again, it needed to be like their handwriting, their signature, what they do. Um, so if you do watercolor, do a 30 by 40 watercolor. If you do oil paint, 30 by 40. If you, you know, if ceramic is your thing and there's some way you can make a ceramic wall hanging that's 30 by 40, like, that, I think that would be very interesting because right. it gives your viewers, like, a chance to see something that's on the same scale from everyone. But those variations will be, like, specific to that artist, and I thought that would be an interesting show to see. I think we needed a platform, you know, there's there's so many artists and we needed a platform to actually be able to sell our work, to show our work, you know, to, to show what we do, you know, because before this, is it seemed like it would kind of be like, like loosely based, you'd have one random person try to mm -hmm. put an art show together and, it, you know, nobody was really working together. We almost, we weren't working against each other, we were, you know, classic, Melissa, mm -hmm. right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Yeah, working independent of each other. Right. Um, We're definitely stronger as a group. I think this would create an opportunity for working artists to have a place to um, participate in an art market. Right. Uh, you know, if if the community comes to know uh, that over and over and over, this is going to be here, this is going to be here, this is going to be here, and the work is good enough that they find it interesting, so they're like, I can't wait for the next one. What's the right. next one going to be, you know? They're like, I've got to get there first. So if I want something, I can get it. Now your artists have, like, a place that they know it's always going to be an opportunity to make work. So as far as uh, criteria to be a ACWV artist, we're just putting you on a list. You say, I'm a working artist. This is what I do. Yeah. I, I paint canvas tennis shoes. Right. Um, I, if you guys ever need a canvas tennis shoe in a show, I, I, let me know. And we're like, well, give us your, give us some pictures of the canvas tennis shoes right. you paint. Give us your contact information. We'll add you to a list. And then if there are people or places looking for artists, and they're like, we want to do a shoe show. Well, you can look and see if anybody it's already does directory, shoes. Yeah. And you're like, this guy does shoes. So that's it. Within the year, it's gone so far. So I can't imagine a year from now how much. Bigger it'll be. All of it is 100% volunteer of our time. Right. Um, a lot of the ACWV shows we put together will take a 15% commission on sales to go right back into the future yeah. events 100%. Yeah, we actually don't get paid for the job. We get paid from selling our own work, exactly. just like everybody else. We, we, yeah. we, we literally are a We're collective working to give of, the opportunity. Of, of everybody together. I think right now we've got like, what, 12 solidly, 12, 15 solidly professional artists 
that are on the website, and then there's about like another 35 that we work represent. with here and there. Yeah. yeah, just trying to learn things as we go, add things as we go, um, and accept more and more people who are interested.